Hello friends, this is Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadipai Hospital and Fake OSICS Training Institute, Sangli, Maharashtra, India. And in this video, I'll be showing a case uh, where I dealt with retained cortical matter. So this was a 60-year-old lady operated uh, SICS three months back, high myopia, and there was a retained cortical matter behind the IOL. The IL was in the sulcus. The primary treating surgeon might have thought that it will get absorbed over time, but it didn't, so he referred the case. Here I am going to use the bimanual IA probe and I am going to use 20 gauge MVR and use 20 gauge infusion probe and a 21 gauge aspiration probe. So when you have this more infusion but uh, lesser sized uh, aspiration probe, there is a good stability of the anterior chamber because the infusion is more than the aspiration. This bimanual approach is very easy so you can go behind the IOL even if the IOL is in the bag we can always nudge the IOL to one side and then aspirate the retained cortex. The aspiration of the cortex is very easy and even low vacuum of 100, 150 mm of Hg is uh, enough to do that and then you can do the polish of the bag. You have to be aware that there might be vitreous in case it was a complicated surgery and there was a rent which might be missed in the initial examination so always keep the vitrectomy probe ready and if you feel there is a vitreous you can always exchange the aspiration probe with the vitrectomy probe keeping the infusion inside and just do the anti-vitrectomy. So this is also a, an opportunity to clean the bag here because of the retained cortex what can be seen is that the anterior and posterior capsule have not fused together so it's an open bag so I decided to push uh, this IOL in the bag rather than keeping it in the sulcus of course we can keep the IOL in the sulcus as well but keeping in the bag will ensure long term centration of the IOL remove the old sutures and that's the end of the case very easily managed so don't worry about this retained cortical matter you can always wash it off very easily in the post-operative period and don't delay uh, removal of this cortex unnecessarily because uh, no matter how long you give the medical management it's better to just clean it off and patient will have a much better post-operative course thank you so much